Matt here. So I want to talk today about how powerlifting actually wasn't my first main lifting goal. I actually got into lifting because I had an eating disorder. I was anorexic. I was about 99 pounds at my current height, so 5'9", and I guess that's about 175 centimeters, something like that for metric people. Um, and I basically came home one day at the peak of my eating disorder and said, you know, fuck this. <laughs> I'm really tired of this. Um, my there was like some sort of switch that flipped in my head and I went, you know what, I feel so skinny right now. Like there's no way I'm going to look lean or, you know, jacked or whatever. I clearly need to just go lift weights in order to gain muscle because I don't want to just gain weight and get fat. And, you know, for better or for worse, I ended up going on to bodybuilding.com and finding my first routine and it was a total bro split. And yeah, I mean, they have their use, but it wasn't possibly you know, ideal for, for what we're trying to do. And I started training and you know what the plus side to it is it got me in the gym it got me training it gave me this sort of external thing i could focus on other than you know exactly a number on a scale and the amount of food i was eating and stuff and it ended up being you know net very positive because i'm at where i'm at today right but what i quickly found with training for bodybuilding style training is one is i felt super neurotic right so i was kind of constantly wondering okay you know was that pound i gained muscle was it fat and a, a lot of those kind of lingering items from the eating disorder had been kind of sticking around, so to speak, right? The other thing that I found, though, on a more positive note is that, honestly, like, it was really empowering seeing the number on the bar just go up. Having that really objective measure of you are getting better, not, you know, I feel I look this way or whatnot, but saying, you know, my squat went from 200 to 205 pounds, Right? There's nobody that's going to take that away from you because the number went up and that's that, right? I did a little bit of research. I found out, hey, there's actually a sport for this. These big barbell lifts that I'm doing, my squat, my bench presses, my deadlift, even though I'm still pretty new to them, there's actually a whole competitive realm and you can get ready for a competition and there's objective measures to say, yeah, you did the lift or you didn't do the lift and, you know, criteria they use, depth on a squat, you know, pause on a bench press and so on, right? And so I signed up for my first meet. And while I possibly had the worst meat day I've ever had in my life, which is a story for another day, I was hooked. The, the community and the culture around powerlifting was something that I hadn't seen in any other sports. I really just played team sports and then a bit of martial arts growing up. And just the, that culture of everyone really rooting for everybody else and trying to help and lending helping hands where they could. And just, you know, everyone's really just there to have a good time and, you know, be meatheads, basically. Uh, it was it was so cool. And so, you know, within a few months, I'd done my next competition and so on. And uh, long story short, here we are today, right? Um, but the the culture is, is really the coolest thing that I found with powerlifting more so, or that was really different from any of the other sports that I'd done. So all of this is to say, you know, even if you haven't done powerlifting or competition just yet, don't be worried too much about, you know, what exactly numbers, you know, what exact numbers you're putting up in your first competition or if you're, you know, ready to compete. I think really, you know what, if you've been lifting for at least a year and lifting seriously, right, so barbell training, and you want to do a competition, go do it, right? Take the pressure off of trying to get into certain weight classes or certain, you know, lifts or milestone PRs, you know, trying to squat twice your body weight or whatever. Those are good. Those come with time. Get good training and that's that's a product of your process, right? Um, make your first meet about showing up. Get a feel for the community. Get a feel for the process. Get a feel for, you know, do you even like the sport, right? Because if you don't, not everyone does, well, you know, having spent all this time getting up to this point where you feel like, okay, I'm finally ready to do it and then finding, hey, I actually don't like it. I don't want to do this anymore. That's actually a lot of wasted time. Your first competition you're going to do is an open comp anyways. You don't have to qualify for anything. So show up with whatever list you've got. Spend a you know medium amount of time preparing for it, about a year for most people. And then go lift, have fun, meet some new people, and you know see if you want to keep going from there. Anyways, that's it. Just figured I'd kind of share my origins with, with powerlifting. And yeah, I'd, I'd be curious to hear how you got into the sport or if you're thinking about getting into powerlifting and doing your first meet in the next year or so. Leave them in the comments below. We'll talk soon.